The Apollo 13 emergency. Odyssey is powered by three fuel cells that run on hydrogen and oxygen. The oxygen is stored here as a liquid in cryogenic tanks that need to be stirred. In order for it to flow properly, you had to run a fan inside it and swish it around like a blender. Dane, we've got one more item for you when you get a chance. We'd like it to uh, stir up your cryo tanks. Stand by. Maybe, but I kind of lost fuel cell one. And it looks like fuel cell two, three is gone too. Okay, yeah, we've had a problem here. There was this loud bang. The whole spacecraft shuddered. We had a pretty large bang associated with the caution and warning there. Oxygen levels plummet. And Lovell looks outside. Looks to me you're looking at the uh, hatch, so we are inventing something. We are, uh, we are venting something out uh, into the uh, into space. He comes to a chilling realization. My ship has sustained a battlefield injury. This ship will soon die. Flight director Glenn Lunny's first job, move the crew out of Odyssey, the dying command service module. Aquarius, the lunar module, will be their lifeboat. The lunar module was only built the last 45 hours, only built to support two people. When a crew is in a spacecraft, they are inhaling good, clean, fresh, life-giving oxygen from their supposedly functioning oxygen tanks, and they are exhaling carbon dioxide into a contained environment. Do that long enough, the carbon dioxide will build up. It only takes a concentration of about 10% CO2 in room air for convulsions, uh, unconsciousness, and ultimately death to result. Both the lunar module and command module use filters to scrub out CO2, but they're different shapes. Now, in the dead command module, they used in their environmental system square canisters had plenty of them, but you can't put a square canister in the round hole of the lunar module system. Big engineering goof, why we had square there, we had round over there, we'll never know. Out of the back rooms, a solution emerges, a makeshift filter. They call it the mailbox because of its rectangular shape. The folks on the ground collected in one place all of the equipment they knew to be available to the astronauts and tried to jerry-rig a system. Houston tells the crew how to build the filter. You use plastic as a covering for the whole thing. Since Jack and I started to build this thing, and we just according to the instructions, so the instructions were very explicit. And if you look at the, the one that the crew systems had made to show the people in the control center, and you look at the one that's hanging on the lunar module wall, they're identical. Soon, CO2 levels fall. The astronauts breathe easier, but the most difficult part of the mission is still to come.